foot by 60 inch high hair accessories planogram. We're going to do a reset today from start to finish on the hair accessories. The page of the planogram shows the full picture. Then you'll have each section, four foot section or three foot section, depending on your store, that will have the pictures. They're numbered, as you can see. And then when you get through all your sections, then you come to the detailed portion of it, which has your numbers to coincide with your picture. Then it has the order ID number, UPC, a description, of the product and then the size of the product. And that goes all the way through each section of the set. You can access this planogram through iNet, either at home on your computer or through your tablet. You can sometimes get a delete list and a new item list from your district manager if you email them. A lot of times they'll just email them out to everybody. Otherwise, there is no delete list when you download and print off the actual planogram. It is to remove anything that is clearanced out or on your delete list if you have one. When you pull them off your peg or your shelf, if it's possible to rubber band them, please do so. The receivers have to inventory this product before they do their diligence with it. Therefore, it must be rubber banded with the tag attached to it. Otherwise, you have a box full of product that they get upset with you for just throwing it in there. So far this morning, I have pulled all my discos and wrapped, rubber banded them and put them in a box for the receiver. That is why I have all these pegs here with no tags on them. It's because I've pulled product off of these and gotten rid of it. Now I'm left with all these holes and I will start from the planogram setting it. I prefer to set it from the bottom up. Some people go from the top down. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Crystal, for an eight foot goodie hair accessory reset, approximately how long should people anticipate it will take them? Um, I can do it in three hours. Okay. From start to finish, that includes pulling all my disco, doing the actual movement, placing my tags, and putting out the product. It's approximately three hours for an eight foot set. Okay, and Crystal comes to us extremely qualified when it comes to resets. So an average rep for an 8 by, is this 72? 66? 60. 60. Is, well, I'm still putting blank pegs up here because I can see from the picture that these items are going in. I don't currently have them, but I know they're going in by the picture, so I put the peg where the picture shows an approximation of where it goes. For those of you new to resets, basically you're using a blueprint and you're putting together a puzzle to match your blueprint. We generally want our, res our sets to match our planograms to the best of the ability in order to uphold the integrity of that particular planogram. If you know ahead of time that you're doing a reset, say next Wednesday, if you will call your scan coordinator, Price tag, price coordinator, tag coordinator, file maintenance manager, yes, file maintenance manager, and you can get their email from them and email them the planogram. A lot of them will pre-make the tags for you so that you'll have them on the day of your reset. If not, then you can always 
make two copies for one for you and one for the tag person leave that one with them with all the tags that you need highlighted and they can come behind you and make tags and hang them they'll sometimes make them while you're doing the reset so that you can hang them yourselves at this point in time crystal is facilitating and completing a goodie hair accessory reset which is also being completed on a regular scheduled service call day so as we have spoken about it during training both are completed the same visit it is not one visit one day and then the reset is scheduled for a separate day planogram for goodie because the store is adding the small the appliances at the bottom so we're using a shorter planogram to accommodate for the stores. Got it. New items, sometimes it will come in with your regular load and you will be notified that it's coming that way. Other times it comes separately in the boxes and they are actually labeled reset product. And, and you'll be notified either way how it's going to be received. These two pegs right here are the same product. In the planogram, it has one peg of it instead of two. I have double faced these prior to this reset because this item was discontinued originally and left a hole there when it sold through. To cover up that hole, we double face. Double face means you just have two pegs of the same item side by side. Crystal, it appears to me that we also want to ensure that we're creating straight lines that are pleasing to the eye, yes. and we have to watch our spacing. Correct. Okay. And then a lot of times after I've set this section, I try to make sure that I have um, shopability between the road. You don't want to have this product clear up here where you can't shop it, because then you're trying to it just get a mess. Terrific, thank you. And that happens. <laughs> so the process you're working on now, Crystal, is purely trying is placement. Placement, yes. Placement. All right. And um, I go off of the picture a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Um, and that helps. And if I if I get confused, if two of them look the same, then I'll go back to my descriptions here and make sure I put the right one in the right spot. Terrific. So when looking at my picture, I can see that there's two items here that are going to be new. I can't tell you that they're new other than I know that from doing the reset. I don't have the product currently in front of me, so I take a peg. And I'll put it into the wall. It goes, that's what the side of it looks like. And it just slides down in there like that. Onto the Uniweb onto wall. Onto the Uniweb wall. Then I have an overlay. This is the part that goes over the peg and that's where your tag will go. And I put that on there like that. And then I'll do the same with the second item that I know is going to go there. Just like that. Like that and that's where those two items there will end up being four feet I put all my empty pegs where the new items are going to go and now I'm just going back and kind of judging if I can drop down a row because like right here how tight this is right here I would prefer to have a little more room so I'm dropping this row down one notch which will be able to drop this row down and have that extra space that I need Now, Crystal, as you're taking some of those price tags off, what are you doing with them? Um, I put them on the product because they're either going to go back up and I'll want the tag available, or they're going to be discontinued, not in set, and you want the tag for the receiver to count and discount or whatever they're going to do with the product. 
Uh, I happen to do it backwards today because the brush section is quicker, less product, more to work with than it is on the right side. And in this particular case, it doesn't matter because it's a separate section by itself. Some planograms, they run together and you have to do left to right because your product overlaps in the sections. So as you can see, Crystal has already gone through these boxes that came with her regular order and separated out any of her new goodie and has that sitting here on the side so that she can then fill her new holes with the new product. And I'll show you how this looks. So in here, as you can see, is all of Crystal's new product that was shipped with her order that she is now making a place for on the wall. When she's done with the reset on the wall, she will then come to her boxes and fill, and then add a price tag. So now that I've taken care of all this stuff in my cart, I'm going to discontinue or put it up where it belongs if I missed it somehow. The next step is to throw your freight. And then the last step will be to hang your tags. So as you can see, Crystal is working her way through the box, opening the packaging. And then she will place it in its correct location on the wall according to the planogram. You have to adjust constantly while you're doing this. So now I'm going to hang my tags. If there is a current tag on there and, I, and they printed me a tag, I will replace it just to give it a fresh look. Now you are. Okay, when you hang your tags, do not hang your tags like this or like this. They need to be straight. Across the top, straight. Otherwise, it looks sloppy. Once Crystal is through hanging her new tags, she will then begin to write an order for the out of stocks. Those will come in with her next shipment, and she'll be able to fill her set based on what product she receives. <laughs> 